BCAAs build muscle. Hello, friends. Today, I would like to talk to you about a special supplement that I have added to my workout regimen recently that has been giving me tremendous gains. He's a herald of world. Harnish. <clears throat> Harness. Harness the superpowered simple solution to crushing catabolism and forcing your body to blow torch fat and build powerful lean muscle all day long. He's not welcome. Why should I welcome you? A hard truth is, if your system is not fed a steady supply of branch chain amino acids, your workouts could actually end up working against your body. I attribute all of my gains to Sculpt Nation's BCAA product. It's great. Too long have you sat in the shadows. <laughs> I would stay still if I were you. Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about what are BCAAs and how I use them. So BCAA stands for branch chain amino acids, and it's leucine, isoleucine, and valine, usually in some proportion, like 2 to 1 to 1, 4 to 1 to 1, 6 to 1 to 1, 8 to 1 to 1, something like that. These are just amino acids. So when you eat protein, it contains various amino acids, and this is basically just a few of these amino acids. And they are what are known as, or commonly referred to as, the most important amino acids. And leucine in particular has been shown mechanistically to be the most anabolic of the amino acids. And they are one of the more popular supplements. If you look at this men's health advertisement or article titled BCAAs, everything you need to know, if you're looking to build muscle and cut fat, then you need to start thinking about BCAAs. Now, we know Men's Health is a massive publication, and they would never steer us wrong, especially not for financial gain. For example, the study found that BCAA supplementation reduced DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, following exercise. So if you want to be able to use your arms after doing pull-ups, or you want to avoid being consigned to a chair for days after doing legs, then consider BCAAs. And that definitely doesn't sound like bullshit fear-mongering, because it's in men's health. It must be true. Not convinced? Uh, no, not really, no. Well, below, with the help of nutritionists, sports scientists, and the latest research into supplements, are all the benefits of BCAAs. Prepare to be convinced, whether you like it or not. BCAAs could help you burn more fat. We don't know, and there's very little evidence for it, if any, but it could. Supplementation of the BCAA leucine, especially in combination with glutamine, has been shown to help overweight subjects on a hypocaloric diet, says Mitchell, CEO and founder of Ultimate Performance, who definitely did not pay us to write this advertisement or Article. Article. It's an article, not an advertisement. Oh, look, there's a poll in the middle of the advertisement. Do you already take BCAAs? 72% of idiots or people, people, said they swear by them, and 28% said it's a waste of money. <laughs> what are those people thinking? evidence. Athlean X, the biggest male fitness YouTuber, content creator, person who we all know would never ever lie about anything. I mean, you can't lie your way to 12 million subs. That's, that doesn't happen. He sells BCAAs. Obviously, they're going to be good, especially his. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to get so jacked and huge like my hero, Jeff Cavalier. Oh, my God. I'm going to get so huge, Mom. Hey, it's Frankie W. BCAAs have a long history with bodybuilding. 
Everyone in my gym swears by them, so I figured I'd give them a try. JM from North Carolina. Guess it works. BCAAs are supposed to be helpful for building muscle, which is something I'd like to do. Smiley face with winking emoji. This brand is well known and reviewed, so I'm trusting their vetting process. Oh fuck. I have zero idea how to tell if they're working. It's such a slow process, it's hard to say if it's the BCAAs or the nutrition and the training. Or all of it combined. Like, I don't know, it could be the training and nutrition, or it could be the BCAAs, right? Like, there's no way to tell. Joe S. Montana. A lot of the new research about BCAA says they're not necessary. Here's the thing. That's only if you're getting enough through your diet. In reality, that's really hard for me as I'm a lazy piece of sh- No. As I'm just as busy as everyone else. It's hard enough to get meals in, let alone know that I have every single micro I need. Wait a minute. BCAAs aren't a micronutrient? Anyway. Doesn't matter. Facts, right? Facts. With these, I know the bases are covered. For me, it's simple. Just like my brain. Wait, what? Growing up, all the big guys in my gym recommended BCAAs. BCAAs work for me. So what means more? The latest research or tried and true results? For me, it's the proof and the proof is in my physique. Lean, muscular, and strong. Have Vshred making claims. They're a big company. They have a few million followers on, on platforms and shit. Like, they must be, they must know what they're talking about, right? So it says uh, they can boost muscle synthesis, muscle synthesis during exercise. And, you know, you can't click on these links because they're not actually links and there's no actual, you know, nothing on this actual page that links to anything from these numbers. But, you know, who's going to actually check to see if these are real references? Plus, Vshred is nice enough to lock you in to keep buying these for the rest of your life. And yeah, it says you can unsubscribe at any point, but good luck. And if you look at this Josh Brett video, here's even more evidence for BCAAs. You look at look at all these experts, they all recommend BCAAs. You can see these little, these highlighted circles around them. They're all advocating for BCAAs. Uh, yeah, actually, that's that's not the case at all, dude. Those guys don't recommend BCAAs. So the red circles are not. So they're they're actually not recommending the BCAAs. Yep, all those guys say to save your money, it's not worth it. Okay, so none of them recommend taking BCAAs. That that's what you're saying. Yep, it's a shitty supplement. Don't buy it. Shouldn't sell it. It's crap. So only Jeff Cavalier is the one who recommends BCAAs. Yep, and he's the only one who sells them. Probably just a coincidence. All right, let. Let me do some research. I release you from the spell. <laughs> okay, editor, just delete everything before this point. Uh, it turns out BCAAs are just bullshit, so uh, they got me with some good marketing. And uh, just, we'll start the video from here, okay? Hey, what's up, everyone? So today we're going to talk about how BCAAs are killing your gains. So it turns out there's not very much actual evidence for BCAAs, and they're not worth spending your money on for the vast majority of people. I personally used to take BCAAs. For those of you who don't know, I live in China. I would actually go to Hong Kong. I live in Shenzhen, right across you know the border. I would go to Hong Kong, grab my BCAAs, and then come back. And I would take them, you know, before my workout. And, you know, I got a hell of a placebo effect. It turns out in terms of actual scientific evidence for them, it's not really going to be doing much. There's a lot of anecdotal evidence. There's a lot of placebo. There are a lot of reviews who, you know, they think they're getting great results from the supplement when it's actually other things. There's a lot of marketing out there, but actual solid evidence is just not there. And this is one of the reasons why the vast majority of actual experts do not proving that most people do not benefit much from supplementing with these as they can be found in most animal-based protein sources, including whey. Almost everyone seems to agree that these are very rarely beneficial and therefore you should probably not waste your money on them. Recommend taking BCAAs. The following supplements has the most scientific support for muscle and strength gain. 
87% of people said creatine monohydrate, and the correct answer is creatine monohydrate. The second most common response was BCAAs, selected by just over 6,000 people. But this 2019 study concluded that BCAA supplementation alone doesn't enhance muscle protein synthesis any more than consumption of complete, high-quality protein. And I personally don't recommend them, especially if protein intake is sufficient. You sack of wine! I don't sell BCAAs currently. I used to. Probably most people are getting the sense that it's changed. That, that would be fair. You know, previously I thought it, you know, from a from a analysis standpoint that if you spiked muscle protein synthesis more times per day and you gave people more leucine per day on average, they'd probably retain more muscle mass. We don't have really any evidence to suggest that that's true. And, you know, I think the more and more I read about it, the less and less convinced I am that BCAs are super useful from a muscle protein synthesis standpoint. I really just can't understand why anyone is still promoting this stuff in the year 2021 when essentially all of the evidence points to the fact that BCAAs just aren't necessary at all. But they're still useful. And the main use for that is if someone is still selling BCAAs in 2021, it means one of two things. First, they are not up to date with the research. They're stuck in the 1990s and they haven't actually updated their opinion based on the available research. Or number two, they do know that it's pretty much worthless and they just don't care. And they're putting their own financial gains before the well-being of their audience. So I'm not making any accusations. I don't know which of those two it is. But it's one of those two things in every single case. Even Greg Doucette doesn't sell BCAAs. <laughs> Leave it in. Fuck it. Fuck it. And legit supplement companies, they don't sell BCAAs. I know I'm hurting my chances with a lot of like sponsorship opportunities and other bullshit like that. But if you're still selling BCAAs, I have absolutely zero interest in having anything to do with you. If you look at reputable companies like Legion Athletics... Sean Alawani's Real Science Athletics, they're not selling BCAAs. They could, and they would make money doing it, but they don't because they know it's bullshit. Honestly, that is the most useful thing about BCAAs. Apart from flavoring your water, it is finding out who's legit and who is shit in the supplement industry. That's it. And so if you're a consumer, I wouldn't buy anything from people who sell BCAAs. Because again, it's a sign that either they're not up to date with the research, which is important when it comes to supplementation to prove that something actually works, does something at all, right? Or they're just nefarious pieces of shit, right? Like you have two options, neither are good, and there are plenty of other good companies that actually aren't pieces of shit. And if you're interested in knowing what supplements actually work, I'll link Josh Brett's full video up there. It's a very, very comprehensive look at what supplements people actually use and recommend that actually have decent evidence behind them, which again, I think is important. So stuff like fish oil, creatine, maybe a multivitamin, whey or casein protein powder, just that kind of stuff. The basics. Basic. It's just basic stuff, you know. All right, so that is all for this video. Like, subscribe, share, slap around that notification bell, all that kind of stuff. Definitely grab a copy of my book. It will help you a lot in your fitness journey, and it will be going up in price, uh, I don't know, a couple days or so. So definitely get on that. All right, peace.